In this video, you'll be learning a really visual color change. It might take a little bit of practice, but I promise once you nail it, it's quite satisfying. This is the surf change. Isn't that awesome? That was a surf change by Ollie Mealing. Now, that color change is definitely meant to be performed on social media. That is because it does require a particular angle and it might take you a few takes before you nail it because it did take me quite a few takes. That was really hard, so don't you think that deserves a like? Now, before I teach you this color change, this video is brought to you by the Mealix membership, a magic membership with over 120 original items that includes the surf change that you're about to learn. If you would like your first month to the Mealix membership for free, then you should definitely stick till the end of the video. All right, welcome to the explanation portion of this tutorial. Here are the prerequisites in order to do the surf change. You will need a deck of cards, obviously, uh, but not any deck of cards. They ideally should be printed by the USPCC or they have any similar card stock, so such as bicycle playing cards. I'm using my own boba playing cards. I believe they're still available online. I no longer have stock of these, but uh, stay tuned because something else exciting in the boba line is coming. You heard it here first. And then you will also need to know how to do the ribbon spread. If you don't know how to do this, it's quite easy, but if not, you can always go on my channel to see the uh, ribbon spread tutorial. I have that over over there you'll need a felt surface and you'll also need to know how to do a double lift lifting two cards okay so those are all fairly basic and you should at least know those before learning this because it is quite advanced it's quite knacky it's quite hard so um, yeah those are the prerequisites all right, so now we're going to get into the surf change. You have a deck of cards. Essentially, you'll do a double lift. So let's say I'll do a simple one. Pick up two, pinky break, turn it over. I show the six of hearts. So now you have two cards, okay? I'll try to use two really different cards so I can distinguish. So 10 of diamonds and jack of spades, okay? So you have two cards here and then you'll place it on the table. Now, the thing is, what I like to do is I like to bend it a little bit. I don't bend it crazy, just a little bit, and then let go like that, okay? So, a little bend to remove the air between the cards, and then let go. Now, you don't place the card anywhere on the table. Uh, you want to leave it near the edge of the table. So, I'm leaving the white part so I can see. Technically, the table is like this. So about one centimeter, I'm Canadian, so I use centimeter. Uh, half an inch maybe? Anyway, you'll leave just a little bit of distance here because you'll need that for the next move, okay? So take the card, remove the pressure, and then you leave it right there. Now you don't wanna be like very careful in placing the card. It's approximate, so right here should be fine, okay? Right after that, you'll be doing a ribbon spread. Now you want that ribbon spread to be fairly close to the card here, okay? You'll need it to be close because if it's too far, it'll be out of reach because the move, the secret here is in the ribbon spread. Now once you turn this over, your thumb will actually slide back down here flick it out and then you reveal that the card has changed and once you're done you can bring it right back to reveal that the card has fully changed you can pick this one up if you want or you can leave it you can leave it like this too i like to scoop it all up and then take it back and then show that there is only one card and that is how the color change ends. And that is how you do the surf change. Okay, so we're going to revisit the whole thing and we're gonna go into detail into each part. So first, the double lift, two, the ribbon spread, and three, uh, the flick or the color change, okay? So first, the double lift. You can do any double lift that you like. You can take the cards like this, that's two, or you can uh, do a push off. Uh, but whatever double lift that you prefer, we're gonna go with a simple one. When you take the card, just give it a little pressure to remove the air in the middle and then you can just drop it off here, okay? About less than an inch. 
a centimeter, that's a lot, but approximate, okay? We want the cart to be flush, okay? So boom, right here, and uh, that's it. That's the double lift. Next, your ribbon spread. You don't wanna hold it up here. You don't wanna hold it in the middle. You wanna hold it near the bottom. That way, when you get here, it'll give you enough distance for your thumb to bloop, push it all the way back, okay? Now, it is a little knacky, so I'm gonna do it again. But for the spread, your finger should be here so that once you're here, it has enough distance. Now, excuse my me failing a few tries here, but let's say here, there you go. This should work, okay? Now, like I said, it is knacky. It does take a few tries, so it is normal that you don't land it every single time. If you have an older deck, your cards also might be sticky. They might stick together. So that might be an explanation, especially with when you drop your cards a lot, your cards can also get stickier, okay? Now on to tip number three, we're going to talk about pushing off the card here. You do not want your thumb to push too hard because if you press too hard, the bottom card follows, right? So all you want is light pressure so that the top card moves and the bottom card stays. I'll try with another card, another that's a little more fresh boom it is a very light touch there is some pressure but not that much and the pressure it's like you touch it and then you drag it to the back here so you combine all that let's say here do the ribbon spread and you want to time it so that as soon as you get here you have enough coverage your thumb will push back and then you can reveal that the card has completely changed. And then you can bring it back like this. Once you're done, you can scoop the rest. You take the card, do a little flourish here. Ollie likes to do this little flourish to clearly show that there is an end. This is the end of the trick. And two, it shows that there is only one card. There can't be the possibility of it having two cards anymore. So uh, that is a nice little ending to the surf change. I hope this uh, has been clear. Is that nuts? Woo! If you enjoyed the surf change, you should definitely check out Emilian's membership where we have access to over 120 heavy, hard hitting, high caliber, magician fooling card magic. That's a lot. Now for only 20 pounds per month, you have access to tricks, controls, key cards, color changes, social media magic like you just saw, and many, many more. I am a member myself and I highly recommend it. Now, if you haven't signed up to the Mealings membership yet, you can use the code FIRSTMONTHFREE to have 30 days access to the membership for absolutely no charge. Now, I convinced Ali to put together this exclusive offer that's only available for people watching this video. This is not available anywhere else. Now keep in mind that's only good for 30 days. If you decide to stay beyond the 30-day period, you'll be paying 20 pounds per month, which is an incredible value for access to over 120 magic items. Now keep in mind you can cancel anytime, but personally I highly recommend the Mealings membership, which I'm happy to be a member of. If you made it all the way till the end, don't forget to hit like and be sure to check out this next video. Peace!